What's up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer from Collusion Tapworks in York, Pennsylvania. This is Good Trip American Dark Sour Ale aged in Cabernet barrels with black currants. Try to get you a good look at that artwork there on the label. Uh, as you can see, comes in a uh, larger than normal 22 ounce bomber bottle, uh, as it's a special release from Collusion. And here's what they have to say about this uh, sour. Good trip is the reclamation of a bad trip and your consciousness altogether. It's what soothes the soul and the palate. Good trip is a Cabernet Sauvignon barrel aged dark wild ale aged on black currants. Bright acidity, mild roast, heavily oaky and wine like, black currant and dark cherry flavors come to mind. So let's pour some out. Okay. I should also note that it is, where is it there? There it is, 6.5% ABV. Uh, seems to be a fairly murky brown color with about a finger worth of a slightly off-white to light tan head. And it's kind of a, an orangey bronze as I hold it up to the light. Uh, maybe just barely uh, I can barely see through to the other side when I hold up to the light I think just between the darkness of the beer the dark brown and the haziness I'm not really getting anything um, in a standard light situation right no no let's uh this head's gonna weigh pretty quickly we're already down to pretty much just a, a ring around the edge of the glass it's here in the middle it's almost all completely gone except for a very thin layer of bubbles and even I, I can see that dissipating uh, fairly quickly all right let's give it a try hmm. Hmm. quite tart as expected uh, the aroma was very much uh, I would call it in the red wine category And there certainly is a scent that's drawn that out of the the Cabernet barrels. The kind of the whole, at least to me, the whole red wine experience. I don't drink a, a ton of wine, but I, I've I've had enough to kind of know how um, the drinking experience goes on a basic level. And it really follows that pretty well. You get the. A fru bit of a, a fruity uh, start to the drinking experience, a uh, fruity entrance, and then it, it turns, I don't quite want to say bitter, but um, I guess more towards the, 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 the tart, the sour end, I'm um, in the back half of the drinking experience. Mm. So that front half is also maybe just very, very slightly sweet. Um, you're picking up, <coughs> excuse me, you're picking up the currants and the cherries as they, uh, as advertised. With it maybe just kind of flavor-wise changing over to some other, uh, some dark fruits as well. Maybe some, uh, something like an apricot. Maybe some other fruits. But that's um, really where it becomes, uh, about midway is where it becomes uh, quite tart overall. I, I would almost call it more tart than sour, personally. But that might be a little bit of a, a splitting hairs difference. So yeah, that back end becomes... Uh, a little more tart, uh, maybe almost kind of with a, a lemon-like feel. At least that's kind of the mouthfeel I'm, I'm, I'm imagining. And um, hmm. so yeah, you just get that tartness on the back end, the pucker. Um, it's almost kind of drying in your throat. Uh, I think when you made me tell when I took the first. Uh, <laughs> 
the first sip and I'm even struggling a little bit now. It's just kind of blocking up my throat a little bit overall, I think. So that's, I think that's maybe a little bit of a, a dryness aspect to it or just something that's overwhelming the, the back of my throat, but whether it be, uh, the, the dry, uh, some dryness or the, the tartness overall or something like something like that. But it's, uh, it is a really, really neat beer. It's, I'm a, I'm a sour fan. I know they're not for everybody, but, uh, I really like this one. It's, it's really, really tasty. Um, I'm loving that front half. The, the back half maybe gets just a, a hair taxing because it is so tart. And I think, again, I think you can tell just by how I'm reacting after each sip, but it is, uh, it is quite tart and it's getting more and more so as I drink. I've maybe only had, I don't know what, five, six, seven ounces of it. And, um, it is quite powerful, but, uh, right up there for sour is really good uh sour nice uh variation with the dark sour the the cabernet barrels are a nice touch and i think really work well with uh with this particular sour ale so uh that's it for this edition of poorly reviewed beer you can find all my reviews both video and written along with news commentary and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com also check out prb on twitter facebook instagram and untapped you'll find all those links and usernames in the description below and if you're so inclined, please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Wow. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.